Today we're going to guide you through the upcoming set from Magic the Gathering from Q3 and Q4. We'll be looking at what's worth buying, what we're excited for and what we're not so excited for. Today we're going to talk about Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. And so far I'm not that optimistic. It feels a lot like Battle for Baldur's Gate is riding on the Forgotten Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Same for me, definitely not as excited as I thought and hoped I would be. Um, Command of the Legends, the last set was pretty awesome. It had the Jewel Lotus, it had a lot going for it. But I gotta say, I don't think they had time to pivot away from the whole Forgotten Realms thing. And it's just, it's a little tainted. And with all the leaks coming out, I think we've seen a lot of the product already. And I don't think there's a lot of the product that I'm interested in buying. The cards I've seen so far, and that's a lot actually. M most of the set has been spoiled already. There's not a single mythic card I'm excited for uh, at this point. And I think being a premium product, being uh, sold at a premium price, yeah, exactly. it's not worth it. Exactly, I feel the same way. I also think, I mean, for now, I don't think the full art sketch version of the rule book version, I don't think it's working. I think the whole sketch is a little, it's a little too rough and I get the whole concept of what they're trying to do with it, but I don't think it's working. No, How do you feel about those? I agree. Uh, I think they're trying to hit some retro feeling from those old John yeah, Dragons exactly. rule books. And I like the concept, but the finished product, not so much. And, and actually I think it's a shame because the, the concept with having a, a, a person in the foreground and just a coloring in the background, it actually looks like some of the old magic cards, uh, I think Banalish Hero here. Um, so they just colored the foreground and colored the person in the foreground and made a decent art there. I think the cards would be gorgeous. Yeah, and I think, I, again, the concept is really nice in the little sketch version. I just think somehow, and I know that's sort of the point, but it still, it looks unfinished. I mean, it's just not, it's not working really. And I think they needed to maybe both color the person and maybe just have a few details or just make that person, the character of the card stand out more clearly because as it is right now, I don't think it's working. I'm a little concerned that it'll be a little meh. So for Commander Legends right now, what we've purchased is a set box that we're keeping sealed um, and then we're just going to bide our time and wait and see if we're interested in anything else. Yeah, and, and should there be a good card, we're going to buy singles. Yeah, and also I think we bought the seal because then we know if, they, if there's like suddenly a, you know, they reveal a jewel lotus on the last day of the spoiler season, then we have like secured a little bit of the product. But so far, I don't think, I don't see myself buying anymore. No. At this point, I think it's going to be a dumpster fire and I think they're going to terminate the print run early, uh, which is also why we have chosen to invest in a sealed box. Because should they terminate the product line early, that means fewer cards printed and therefore it will become more rare yeah, in the future. Definitely. But at, at this time, we're not that excited about this set. Oh, I think it's a miss for us. So we're going to introduce our sort of grading system, you know, the one to five stars, and we're going to do it in Goblin Guides. So how many Goblin Guides, based on the information we have right now, as of May 2022, would you give to Commander Legend Battle for Baldur's Gate? Despite being a big Dungeon Dragons fan, and despite having played all the Baldur's Gate games, I'm not excited. Um, even as a fanboy, I can't get myself to give more than one Goblin Guide. Yeah, I'm at one Goblin Guide. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad because I, we really do. We play D&D, you played the games, I've played like the first game, and we're just not hyped for it at all. What about Claude Masters? This is the big blockbuster game of the summer that's supposed to get everybody into the game stores during the summertime, so will you be going to a game store to pick up this product? Definitely. If you look at history, all these modern masters, special masters, whatever, have become really, really good products. They have been excellent powerhouse cards. Uh, the, spy, uh, the prices have skyrocketed uh, and they're worth a lot of money today. So yeah, I'm going to get all the double masters 2022 that I can get my hands on as much as I can afford, because let's be honest, the prices are a little steep at the moment. 
it's pretty expensive now. But I also think one thing you should be looking out for is the new fall treatment. Um, when they did the announcement from Wizards, you got to see the new fall treatment that had sort of like the texture with the Liliana Last Hope um, card. And I think, I think we're up for some more treatments and some more uh, hidden treasures in that set. So I'm pretty excited for Double Masters. We also saw uh, Eldrazi card, Kossilek is back to haunt us. And I think, I think it's going to be awesome. It's the Quad Masters. I think they're going to be bringing their A game and they're going to be add a, a lot of value for us. Definitely. And also uh, support your local game store. You're going to pick up a special old uh, frame soul ring if you spend for 50 bucks. $50 and then you can get an old retro bordered uh, foil, I believe, yeah. even a uh, soul ring, which is pretty cool and we all use it all the time in our commanders and we actually need one. Okay, so let's see. How many Goblin Guides for Double Masters 2022? On a scale from one to five. Yep. I'm excited and if history holds true, this set is going to be a beast. So I'm going to give it five Goblin Guides from the knowledge I have at this point. Yep, we're recording this on May 2022. So as of right now, I'm saying four Goblin Guides. I think it looks solid. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some interesting cards and that new fall treatment is one to look out for. Speaking of picking stuff up, are you going to pick up the new Warhammer cards? Warhammer 40k that comes? I think it looks cool and if you're a fan of the whole Warhammer 40k universe, maybe. But for me personally, I'm not a fan. And I think they're announced that they're coming in a, like a, you know, a pre-constructed commander deck with an extra collector's edition version of it, which is the first time, so that might be interesting. But for me, I'm just, I'm personally, I'm not into the universe. I don't know all the references. So for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pass. But what about you? You have played Commander or sorry, uh, Warhammer 40k. So are you going to be picking something up from that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I so am. Um, I think the cards look gorgeous, uh, those I've seen so far. They look pretty cool. And yeah, I, of course, it's a little off flavor for Magic. I actually think so. I like the, the, the nerd um, being brought together, but it's a little off. But despite that, I think I'm going to pick up a commander deck. I think it would be fun to have uh, big flying space marines shooting big guns all over the place. Um, even though I think it will be hard to, to um, upgrade these decks. Because what are you going to upgrade with? All the other cards will be out of flavor. So I think it's uh, right out of the box, played as it is have your giggles with it, uh, enjoy the art, and, and that's it for me. So yeah. on a scale from one to five Goblin Guides? I'm not excited. I, I, I mean, honestly, it's not a product I will be playing, so I may be a, like a meh. I'm going to add a two Goblin Guides, but excited for you guys who love the product and love Warhammer. Yeah, I think I'm a, I am uh, on a three, three Goblin Guides. Uh, I look forward to seeing the art. I look forward to just having a little fun with playing the deck. So that was Q3. What about yeah. Q4? So for Q4, we're looking at a lineup that's going to be Infinity. Uh, it was supposed to come out previous this year. They had some troubles with the print run or some of the new techniques that they're applying to the cards. So Infinity will be just showing up. We will be seeing Dominaria United. Pretty excited for that one. And we will also be seeing Brothers Wall. Uh, Infinity. Yeah. We're buying some. We're seeing some super cool, super fun uh, full art lands. And they will also, for the first time, have some of the Infinity set be commander legal. So I'm hoping that we see some really fun, good cards. And I've heard all sort of wackiness about maybe some peel cards, scratch cards. I just want to see what witches bring to the table. I think it sounds fun. Yeah, me too. We also bought the, the old uh, Unstable set and uh, the full art lands are gorgeous. They've been in, in all these unsets. So how many Goblin Guides? Uh, I think I'm at like a solid three and a half Goblin Guide. Um, I can't shop a Goblin Guide in half, but I will anyway. Well, you're feeling, feel, feeling generous, are you? Yeah, but I think, I think it will be actually fun. I think the full art lands will be cool. And I think there will be a lot of special treatments that we haven't seen before. And I'm really excited for those. Yeah, I'm at two Goblin Guides. Dominaria United, we're going back to the place where it all started. They announced that they're doing a four set block like Return to the Old Days, and this will be the marking of the anniversary of Wizards. 
making the really fun game that we all love. So what do you think about Duminary United? I think Wizards, uh, with Wizards is going to bring the A-game here. They, they must. They must bring the A-game. Um, it's going to be uh, close to, to uh, anniversary set. Yeah. And I love that they bring the old block structure back. I love the old block structure. I thought it was fun. I thought it gave some coherence between sets. And I'm, I'm actually missing that at the moment. I think sets are coming out. It's going really, really fast. It's close to a set every month. And there's no uh, cohesion between the sets. So once the set is out of uh, the, the stand yeah. or out of print, it's just, it's, it's gone. They were just so, on to something new. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing some sort of storyline uh, arch between sets. And I'm looking forward to having the same concept being expanded uh, upon yeah. a little more. And I'm looking forward to just seeing Dominaria. I'm expecting great artifacts, great angels. Yeah. Definitely, me too. And they also said at the Magic Reveal that we will be seeing some sort of, you know, big, epic final countdown between the Praetors that we've been seeing. They've been doubling these Praetors. We had Marine Clicks in uh, Kaldheim. We had Eurobrask show up and we had Jinkataxis in Kamigawa. So I think we're, we're really building up to see an epic final battle and it will happen on the plane of Dominaria. And I also think that we're going to have a lot of really cool cards because we need some awesome heroes to fight against those Kratos. Mm. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have a really killer set. Yeah. And the whole story unfolding in a longer block, I think that'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be massive. Yeah, definitely. Planeswalkers, Phyrexians, Great Wall. Super excited for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Goblin Guides, we don't know a lot about the cards. We've seen a few, but how are you feeling about Dominaria United? Well, the old Dominaria set was excellent. Older sets uh, taking place on, Domina on Dominaria has been pretty good too. So, so I expect a lot from this set. Um, so I'm going to give it four Goblin Guides. Yeah, I'm at four Goblin Guides as well. Maybe four and a half. I like my half Goblin. Last product that we have that we know about right now lined up for the year will be the epic The Brothers War. We are going back to Ursula and Mishra. We're going to see them fight and fight it out. I'm expecting a lot of artifacts. I'm expecting a lot of power. You hear me, wizards? We don't want a really nerfed out set because this needs to be powerful because otherwise it will drag down the whole history of the Ursa block. Yeah, you can't make a watered down Ursa and Misha set. If you do that, it'll be, I'll be a nerd five. rage all over the place. Yeah. Also because I think we, as many others, really love the Ursa block. There are so many fun and cool cards. If they F it up, it will be really, really, you know, everybody will be really unhappy with it. I'll cry. Yeah, so we're hoping for a lot of powerhouse cards yeah. and good artifacts and a lot of good gameplay also. And good Tron lands wizards. Misha's Factory, make something similar. Yeah, and I mean, I would really love to see for some newer players Misha's Workshop. that just make got something started. Similar. Yeah, I mean, I would really love to see some value cards that will hold value over time because if you got in and bought your collection off early, and we kind of did, but not really, um, you have a lot of value now. Newer players getting into the game are just getting fire hose. I mean, mm. every card drops every time something rotates out and stuff rotates out faster and faster. There's more and more new product. We're spending more money because wizards are increasing the prices. So really, I want to see some value. I want to see something that holds value. Exactly. And I want to see some new cards where you rethink how to make a good magic card again. I think we have seen a lot of cards being like, blah, blah, generic something. You can add one extra counter or something. There's too much of the same stuff going around. I want to see something new. I want to see something unique. Like a I new want mechanic? To see, no, not necessarily a new mechanic, but I want to see seeing, you know, make cards um, like they did in the old days. Yeah, invent Where you were like, stuff. wow, I've never seen this before. That's yeah. really exciting. Without having a new uh, new uh, mechanic all yeah, the time. Yeah, or without having a new flashy border. 
I think the yeah. new treatments and all the flashy borders, they're fun, they're exciting, they're cool in their own way, but I really want to see some focus on the gameplay, on what the cards do when we actually play with them, because we collect them, but we must certainly also play them. So we want some fun cards that do new stuff that's exciting, that it you know reinvents the game for us. It's been 30 years, so I think they've done so well, and I think the card game is still really fun to play, but I would love to see some new excitement. Yeah, exactly. Because if you're like me and uh, have a lot of uh, commander cards, uh, commander decks lying around, I actually think it's hard to to uh, upgrade my commander decks at the moment. Um, whenever I have a new set, I, I say, "Ooh, this might be good in this uh, commander deck." And then I flip through my cards and I'll be like, "Yeah, well, no." Yeah, but it's I also not good think maybe it it's about the nostalgia the also. Maybe it's about you know we really love some of the old cards and then yeah. it's difficult to change them out. No. I mean, come on, for white, we've seen a lot of cards recently that I'm yeah. definitely adding to my commander decks. Yeah, but I don't play white. Which is a mistake. No, it's not. <laughs> so, Goblin Guides, how many for the Brothers War coming out in December? Yeah, without knowing anything uh, for certain, I'm expecting Great Tron Lands. I'm expecting Power Lands. I'm expecting a lot of great artifacts. I'm expecting Misha. I'm expecting Ursa. Maybe even Khan. So I'm expecting a lot of old, uh, you know, uh, historic cards. I'm expecting yeah. more, maybe sagas coming back again. Yeah. Um, so I'm expecting a lot of value in this set. So I'm going to give it full swing, five Goblin Guides. Don't disappoint us, please. Yeah, me too. I'm at five Goblin Guides as well. And I think, um, as we did on the investment video, the land cycle will be really important. So they need to put in some great lands. Um, we need to see a lot of old, like throwback cards, but in a new way that's exciting, that's fun. Maybe some new treatments, but I really hope they focus on the gameplay and just making some great cards for us that we'll enjoy playing in the next 30 years. Mm -hmm.